we hear our clients get really passionate about something in the in the most unexpected times, in the most unexpected situations, right? And so I advise them to always pay attention anytime they give advice to their clients to take note of that and then turn it into content. It's all math. Let's say that you follow 20 people a day on Instagram. Let's say five of those will follow you back. If you do this for 100 days, you may have 500 new followers. When it comes to content, the rule is to ask yourselves, would somebody bookmark this? That's the most important action, the most valuable action they can take. If somebody would bookmark that, that's the content that you want to create. We get 10 times as much value from the content that we pull from the podcast. The podcast to me is really just the vehicle to create the content that we then put on social media. Yeah. When my business does does well, it's because I spend 80% of my time on sales. Every single time I take my foot off the pedal, it's not immediate, but six months later, I feel the dip. Even when times were tough, you simply cannot stop doing sales and marketing. You have to keep at it. And if you get rid of sales and marketing, if you get rid of all of your helpers, it's really going to hurt your business down the road. How do you find a good business advisor? Oh, this is a tough one. It's kind of like finding a therapist. You may have to talk to a few of them (laughs) and try out a few of them before you find uh, the right one for you. But it starts with really knowing what your goals are. What am I really looking to accomplish? And where where are my weakest spots where my advisor can be almost like that partner that I don't have, where they can make up for those for those weak spots? One thing I've been experimenting with folks who I think would make great clients who like don't respond to traditional sales messaging. I've started asking them to do a quick 15 minute interview on my podcast Mm -hmm. as as just a way to like get my foot in the door. Extend something of value. It's happened to me a few times that some really smart salespeople came to me and said, Hey, by the way, there was this legislative change. I just want you to know in Illinois, I didn't, that has to do with employees, let's say. I just wanted you to know it put that person on my radar. I couldn't forget them after that interaction. And I could totally see if I had that need for their skill set that I would think of them and probably mm-hmm. turn to them. How long does the average daily social media workout take? 30 minutes to an hour, mm-hmm. just like a workout. <laughs> A little bit every day can get us very far. I know people who are really into LinkedIn. If that's what you're into, spend 30 minutes a day on LinkedIn. Connect with some new people, post some content, comment on other people's content. In some ways, that outreach and commenting and engaging other people is a lot more effective than posting. 